Hi, it's your old, it's Joe Fury in the Storm Tomato Weather Center. Hope you're doing okay. Weather-wise, well, yeah, we've been doing very well. Temperatures got up in the 70s today. Now it's time for a little bit of storminess, and, and so the prime time for the heavy rain, the local flooding, the thunderstorms, uh, the strong winds, it's all Thursday late afternoon, especially evening, and maybe past the midnight hour as well. Uh, so it's going to be a you know, quick hitting one to three inches of rain. A lot of leaves coming down. Got to be careful traveling tomorrow evening. And of course, with the wind wanting to gust up 30, 40 miles per hour, there could be some scattered power outages out there as well. Maybe, you know, if the umbrella is still sitting out in the backyard or the lawn chairs are hanging around, maybe you want to try and secure those. And as far as, uh, well, going back to the great weather that we've been experiencing over the last several days, we're, we're going to do that for Friday and the weekend. So let's take a look at where we were on Wednesday. 70s in many spots, at least near 70, 70 up the coast and into the 70s inland. Here comes the big swath of moisture on through. So we're talking about winds that'll be gusty as we go through uh, tomorrow night in the 30 plus mile per hour range. Now, if we pull down some of the real strong winds from just aloft, then we're talking about what, what can be, you know, those 40 plus mile per hour gusts. That's when you're going to get the power outage uh, set up, especially in the eastern half of the state. So we've got to keep an eye on that. And well, rainfall wise, one to three inches, that's going to occur in, in a short period of time tomorrow evening. So the idea for Thursday there might be a couple of showers early. There might actually also be a nice sunrise, like we had a nice sunset on Wednesday evening. So temperatures are mild, 50s and 60s to start the day tomorrow. You'll notice it's more humid. You'll notice it's breezy. Some of you might see a nice sunrise. Lunchtime hour, we may have some showers around. Then as we head past 2 o'clock in the afternoon, some steadier rain rolls in. And then there you are heading into the evening with some heavy rain, the localized flooding, the quick 1 to 3 inches, and, well, by... 8 a.m. on Friday, it's all going out to the east, and we're heading towards 70 with sunshine and a fabulous Friday afternoon. And, well, Saturday at the moment looks great, mid-60s, maybe some upper 60s, warmest at the beaches. Sun is out, and the, uh, uh, the idea is for just delightful, beautiful weather on Saturday. So we're trying to do a repeat performance of last weekend for this weekend because now it appears Sunday's going to be okay and hold up the showers until Monday. Once that front goes by, November in the eighth day forecast, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday next week, daytime highs, 50s at the shore. Could stay in the upper 40s uh, in the uh, northern part of the state. Uh, so the idea is that Thursday, other than a shower or two around in the morning, the steadier rain rolls in during the afternoon. And then the big punch of stormy weather is tomorrow evening. And then we're back to great weather Friday in the weekend. So you got to tune into Gill first thing on Thursday morning for the very latest update on how everything's coming together with the tomorrow late afternoon into tomorrow nights. One to three inches of rain, localized flooding, the thunderstorms in there, and got to watch out for those strong winds that could cause problems in some spots, not everywhere, but some places. So that's the latest update. I hope you're feeling well. Tune in the Gill first thing in the morning, and I'll see you back here tomorrow night. Bye.